okay good day guys you're welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and i'm here to give you another cool tutorial on product structure but this time i'll be showing you something unique and i like that you pay attention in case you're joining us for the first time on this channel i would like that you use the subscribe button and like this video right and turn on the notification bell so that you can always catch all of our releases post and as soon as we drop them right so i want to show you something unique about product structure 2021 in this short video right so right now you're looking at my screen and you're seeing uh, a structural layout of a particular um, project so it used to be that in other versions of product structure um lesser than 2021 20, 2020 you see that we can only only import um layouts of single story at a time so but now product structure 2021 allows that we import several stories at once right so as you can see on my screen i have the ground floor layout i have the first floor layout i have the roof layout so there is provision for the for importing these three story layouts at once right so i'll be teaching you how to import three or more um layouts more than one layout into your product structure the easy way right so i would like that you follow me as we go so this is a general arrangement that i just prepared and i'll be showing you how to go about it now you want to open your product structure now we are creating a new project so i want to name my project i have a project template that i would like to use so i select that you should understand that if you had gone uh move up, uh our videos on product structure so now that we have this now before we proceed on this you go back to your autocad then um i would like you to do something it is preferable that you copy this onto a new onto a new um environment autocad environment so when you copy this one you copy it away from this place to a new AutoCAD environment where you have no drawings before. So this will help you import your project correctly. Void of any error or whatever it is. So we have something like this. Now before you go ahead, you want to be sure that all your layers are in place. So I'll select this and um, select similar. So all my axes have the layer axis 1 okay i'll try to check what about for my columns select similar so all my columns have the layer name column so that's good enough now having confirmed that you want to save save as and then you save in dxf then we, we use this one so after you have saved in DXF, you can close that particular drawing. Now I've closed that. So I'm done with this. Now back to your product structure. So once you get to your building set out, you click external reference drawing. Please do not forget that we are working on product structure 2021. I also have a video of how to import um, drawings from product structure 2018 on this on, on my channel so you can go that if that is a product structure you have if it is product structure 2021 you go by this means right okay so and also if you do not know how um we came about this general arrangement drawing or you don't know how we do it i like that you check on the channel for my video on the easy way to go about general arrangement easy way to make a general arrangement draw right okay so go back here so 
external reference drawing you click external reference drawing then you add you want to add the drawing for import so i i named it export in dxm so you select it then you open the file automatically it gets added into this place so what you do is to select active and um, also 3d if you like you may use colors then okay so automatically you have your drawing here you see your drawings here now there's a way we can now make because this is just pictures you can't interact with this drawing so there's a way we can activate all the elements like the columns the grid lines the text and all of that so you want to click the external reference drawing again then um, you would import you select import now we want to import all the elements and with the layers <coughs> pardon me <coughs> Pardon me. So for grid, for grid, you use axis one as we have seen in our layers on AutoCAD, and the text, you use text. Okay. I don't need it. The text. The column, we use column. The walls wall the slab the slab is line so once you're done you can click import and let's see what goes here so you can press close once you're done Now you see we have the columns, we have our grid lines, just as it was on the other card. So we have everything in place now. So even for all the stories at once, you see, for all the stories at once, but then I will now teach you how you can interact with all these stories one after the other as it fits your drawings, right? So because we can work on the same story for all these um, all this layout at the same time, so you have to work on individual story as as it is. For example, we'll be having story O for this one. This is the ground floor story O. We're having story O1 for this one. And we'll be having story O2 for this one. Right, so I'll be teaching you that in my next tutorial video. And I would like that you hang around, right? So thank you for staying around. You can use the like button and I'll encourage that you also use button share with your friend so that we get better together i am joshua the designer meet in the next class bye